My name is Don Dingman and I am a teacher and drama advisor at Grand Valley High School. We are going to be, for our musical, doing a show called Back to the 80s. It's the best description I can give is that in the 90s there was a TV show called The Wonder Years where it was about an older journalist reflecting back upon his adolescent days in the 60s. It's a similar situation. It's an older man reflecting back on his high school days, but in the 80s. Logan Nye, I'm a senior, and I'm trying out for the park of Michael Feldman. Music-wise, I'm going to have to give it a 10 because it is the actual scores that the rock musicians and pop musicians sang in the 80s and some of those people have incredible ranges and so it's going to require our students to sing over these incredible ranges, some of them as much as three octaves. thing that's probably going to kill them is if they don't have their monologues memorized because otherwise you're gonna get cut off short and um, won't be good. Cindy and Billy went on to get married two years later. You have to. Okay. And so what has happened to everyone after high school, after we left high school? Laura and Debbie are now millionaires. Billy and Cindy were never gonna last. She's a Democrat politician and Billy went on to own several skating links with uh, Lionel and Huey. Some of the younger classmen are having a lot of problems learning, but then again, some of some of the older people. Everyone's going left, left right. I right, like marching. Right, left, no. right. Mickey sort of stomps his feet when he dances, and you're supposed to be lighter on your feet. I'm Mickey Kernick. Live long walks on short beaches, and I'm a fiery Aries, the passion for love and a passion for science. How hard was it for me to pick the leads? That was a, a very big challenge, for, especially in the girls, because we had four, four, roughly five lead girl parts, 20 girls that could have fit the role fine. And inevitably what it turned into this year was upperclassmen because they were tied in skills in all other areas. So my rule of thumb is, is if you have two equivalent auditions, the upperclassmen gets the role. Uh, the leads for the show are uh, for the guys, Logan Nye and Ian Leroy. And for the girls, I would have to say Olivia Padali and Steph Taylor. But then there are also some other characters that are not quite lead, but every bit as major, uh, Mickey Krennic and uh, Rose Whitinas. And then any one of the students there's a lot of stage time. So unlike other musicals where you have a lead that gets a lot of stage time and then the ensemble comes on every now and then, this show has them on, quite, on stage quite a bit. My goal tonight, kids, is to go through Act 1, Scene 1, and Act 1, Scene 2. And letter I is, you take the gray skies out of my way. Ooh, ooh, da 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 I want it that high, yeah, yeah. Put the gray skies out of my way. I got the role of Billy Arnold, featured male vocalist, and I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm a freshman, which makes it more unbelievable. Logan is such a jerk in the play. He is. He's, you big jerk. I'm a tool. I get to yell at you. <laughs> 
My name is Logan Nye, and in the musical, I play the part of Michael Feldman. When he starts walking at you guys, you're all like... Uh, my character is a jock in school. He's idolized by many, but many people, people don't see that he's not a very nice person on the inside. Oh man, this is going to be a bit... He is one of the people that the plot revolves around, between my character and Ian's character. Anyways, I'd, I'd better get going. We're working on our election idea. My name is Ian Leroy, and I play Corey Jr. in the musical. Let's just say that it's not going to go well. If there were a choice other than well, like bad or terrible, that might be it. Um, my name is Olivia Pedali, and I play Tiffany Houston. My name is Caitlin Baird, and I am Cindy Gibson in the musical. I'm Tiffany's best friend. I'm Clarice Stock, and I play Debbie, who is an, an unpopular girl in the high school. My name is Nathan Turlin, and I play Kirk in the musical. My name is Jenny Cassie, and my character is Kim Easton. Uh, well, I'm Mickey Krennic, and in the play, I am Mr. Stevie Cro uh, Cocker. Not, not Crocker, Cocker. Guys, what's up? Please, please, please remember where you are because Devin is, go I'm going to then say, okay, Devin, they're yours. And she is going to take measures to get you from here into some sort of dancing. I don't know what she's going to do. But you guys who have danced with Devin in the past know that it's not going to be something like jazz hands with kicks. Our choreographer, like, she knows what she's doing, and she's really professional, and she wants us to be the best. But you guys are five, six, seven, eight, and you look over that shoulder. Does that make sense? My name is Devin Shriver, and I'm the choreographer of Back to the 80s. Alexis? Hi, I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. Hi. Miranda? Is there a Miranda? Yay! So you have to really take into consideration non-dancers from dancers and movers. Um, I do most of my choreography in the car on the way to and from work or to and from here at Grand Valley. Wake up! I uh, studied dance for about mm, 20 years, so I've had a lot of practice. Looking out a dirty old window. Down below the cars in the city go, and we'll stop right there. Actually, there are very few kids I've come in contact with who don't actually you know, listen and take in what I have to say. So actually, I would say that adults are the hardest to choreograph because they're not as open to doing new things as teenagers are. Three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the 80s, no, I've never choreographed this show, so it's a, it's a new experience. If you want to have three hour music rehearsals the week, you know, for weeks and weeks and weeks, it's like that because we can't get the music learned, that's, I mean, we're not going to be very happy, but if that's what we have to do, then that's what we'll do. We can get a lot done in two hours. We can get a lot done in five minutes. Uh, my name is uh, Corey Fowler, and I am the musical director for the musical, so I just do all the music. Uh, portion of the musical. Listen to each other. So, sing, sing, zoo, sing, sing, zoo, very clear, go. I did many musicals when I was in high school, and I did a few at um, a, a campus branch of a university and uh, dur during the summer they had a summer stock program so I did a few musicals there kind of kept my summers a little busy. This show calls for the pit band which would be myself, any guitarist, bassist, other keyboardist to be on stage in the, in, uh, in the back behind all the action. So in a way, we kind of are performing because everyone will be seeing us more than if we were just down in the pit and you know, just kind of out of the way. So, and actually it's funny kind of because the script calls for the whole band to be in 80s clothes and kind of act like an 80s band. So I guess, I guess we would be kind of performing.
Right now, it's not that much. Right now, we have a once a week musical rehearsal where we work with the, um, the chorus pieces, so the whole cast, and then one day a week, we have some solo lessons after school. As we get closer to the actual performance, then I'll, my schedule will start getting more full with musical stuff. So like I said, right now it's not too much. Um, I'll be working on my own performing keyboard-wise uh, a lot here pretty soon. We'll be getting kind of the nitty-gritty of rehearsal process and we'll start ru you know, uh, running the show. The kids are still learning blocking, they're still learning dancing. Pretty soon we start to put all this stuff together and I'll be here a lot working with the kids. So in the future it'll be pretty busy. Uh, the stage construction crew are responsible for designing the sets and then moving the set around during the show, building the set. My name is Josh Stegel. I am the assistant construction manager. This, this is a scene that when the door opens, you'll be able to see in. I really like stage crew uh, because it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of people involved. Uh, you get to work with your hands, and it's just a great experience. And this room here is a teacher's lounge. And this opening is such that we're going to cover it with scrim material. And there will be a scene in the front stage area with kids, while simultaneously you're going to see in the teacher's lounge. Probably Footloose, because it's the hardest. It'll be the most challenging. minutes or 30 seconds, just a quick review. So let's try that again. 78, one, two, ready, and. Okay, now, okay, now let's, have, let's have the guys. So bass is. Cassie McNaughton-Dingman. I am 
Mr. Dingman's daughter. In the beginning with the musicals, they started out very small. It wasn't anything that big. At most, the musicals had about 20 children, 20 students in it, and now the musicals have developed into over 100 students in it. It is the most popular after school program. Uh, my name is Jackie Miller and I'm the student tech director. Okay, and if you always have a choice, let the safety cord fall and not the light. Um, tech crew does light, sound, and a lot of electrical work. So they said that they needed help building, and I picked up a hammer and saw and went to work. Probably the school all together. There's a lot of lifting and just high up, putting the beams together um, and stuff like that. Because building the second story was kind of difficult. Every day after school, there's probably two, three hours a day after school, Monday through Friday, and then Saturdays we go nine to five, and then you add it all together, over 100 hours a show just constructing and then probably over 50 hours a show painting, so 150 to 200 hours a show. I went out and bought a pair of Converse and some undershirts for my Don Johnson look that look very 80s. Wore lots of Easter egg colors. Arnold, Billy Arnold, remember? This is the preset one. You're gonna cut us based on this performance? Yes. Okay. Right now. We're not gonna sing for you. No, get over here and sing. Do it now. No, we even work. They don't have it memorized yet. And okay. So right. do, do, do. Here's a little song I wrote. Do, do, do. You might want to sing it. Not for no. Don't worry. Be happy. Now I want to hear what this drumming. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Don't worry, be happy now. Come on. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Eileen to Lurie, come on. Don't worry, be happy now. You guys just saved yourselves. I yes, we'll keep it. Oh, I love that song. I love that song. Of course the musical is not ready right now, but I think everyone's really stressed out about everything including college and there's just those general people who have problems with hormones who just have to <laughs> on everybody in general. It's around where it usually is for all of the musicals I've ever been in. We're almost memorized, most of us are. 
What if the stuff we love now is like replaced in the future? What are you going on about? There's a lot of stress. And it doesn't help. I, I've had a tough fortnight for the past couple of weeks between school and piano and drama and high school drama and that 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 being my relationship that has ended. Yep. I think I'm more ready than everyone gives me credit for. Because everyone's like, why aren't your lines memorized? And most of my lines aren't memorized. And everyone's like, you suck at dancing. And I don't think I suck at dancing. Maybe a little bit, because I'm gangly and awkward. But, and, and, yeah, I'm trying. It's tough. I was in ninth grade, and Olivia Pedali, who plays Tiffany, was in eighth grade, and I really started to like her. We were in the Music Man together, which was the spring musical way back when, and so I finally worked up the guts to ask her out from the, with the encouragement from all my friends, and she told me, almost exactly like a line in the, mu in the musical, that I'm like a brother to her, and that I'm, she's sure that I'll find someone else, but she doesn't like me in that way and that line was exactly in the musical and it was just as awkward and it was terrible you're very sweet yeah but you're like a brother to me i'm sorry i can't quarrel with you michael's the guy i want to be with i died a little bit inside when i read that in front of her for the first time but then i started laughing because i realized that i was a really nerdy freshman now i'm more of a ladies man i mean i i don't see why i wouldn't you're you're so beautiful and smart. I just, I just never really know. So you got a little bit of fuzz. Yes, mom. I'm in the middle of an interview. You didn't bring that lamp downstairs. I brought the one downstairs. Yes. I am Ian's mother. My name is Jean Leroy, and I'm a drama mom. And I usually help out wherever I'm needed. I'm having mixed emotions on that. To be honest with you. Um, I mean, I'm happy for him, and I'm happy that uh, you know that he's doing what he likes to do. But it's this is a year of lasts for us, with you know him being his senior and all. And it, you know, it's a little bit uh, melancholy, I guess. So. Do 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 we have most of the songs down and all our dances are finished. So it, it's just a matter of polishing and getting it down. And I think we're farther along than we have been in past musicals. I've never thought of myself as a great actor or singer or dancer. I always thought I was average at all of them. And the whole idea behind my part is an average kid. So I guess, yeah, I, it works. And it's not like my part is that much bigger than anybody else's. It's, it's a very socialistic musical in that everybody gets a part. Everybody gets a share. In closing, I want us to be the best senior class to ever graduate from William Ocean High School. <laughs> Tech week is described by most as hell, but I prefer to describe it as a week where the actors just run their lines over and over again to polish their skills while the tech people and the stage crew people work on their individual sections to get us all in sync. I call that the Bridenstine when he <laughs> thought he had to be on stage and he went pee.
and left the main character out there for two minutes. Now, I just want you all to stand there quietly. Ready? That was 10 seconds. Now imagine two minutes with 400 people going. Okay? Don't do that to your fellow thespians, please. Okay? All righty. Have a good time tonight, but at the same time, let's do a good show. If you have costume changes and you want to try, great. Uh, let's get into position, please. Happy Tech Week! Of trouble with um, uh, nothing's gonna stop us. Um, Logan and I, or the guy who plays Michael and I, have a, a little short duet that's about four measures long, five measures. But um, there's a high part that has like a lot of trilling in the voice. I think that Tech Week is going to be grueling and there's going to be a lot of breakdowns, but I think we're going to get things accomplished like we always do. You guys should be responsible for your own props, not everyone else. Amen, KT. Oh, oh, the the law, huh? Um, my name is Kate, KT Beals. Um, I'm the stage manager in Java. I uh, manage the stage and stage crew when we go to do the plays. Does each one have one their own chair, right? Well, it's tech week. It's very, it gets very stressful, but it's a week to put the show finally all together, to put it, um, to make it the show. Get into my car. Pretty hard. Everybody's worked pretty hard. Uh, there's a lot of time commitment involved for the musicals, including late nights and waking up early. So. I think the weakest person in the musical is probably myself because. Um, I don't know, I don't have everything up to my standards at this point. You're so beautiful and smart. And he's cute, don't you think? Uh, I never really noticed. His ears are kind of big and stretchy. I don't really think the musical is where it should be right now. I think we should be off book. I think that um, we should know our songs and where to come in and out, but above all, I think we need to have our dances down, considering that's what we've been working on for the past month and a half. Okay, you guys. Instead of cutting people, I'm just going to move you around. So go to your ending spots. How would I rate the kids' choreography performance? Um, pretty good. They've, they've done their best. They've done a lot of outside practicing. Um, we've worked hard. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I definitely rate it as a 10. And it can only get better. So. You guys just move a little over there, not like all the way over there, but perfect. Sorry. Olivia, Ian, when in doubt, just sing and hold each, other, hold, blah, 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 hold each other's hands. Just don't worry about all the choreography, okay? Okay. Okay, move away from it. Compared to the very first show I've done to Grand Valley and this show, it's come like leaps and bounds. I remember doing just step touches and jazz squares and grapevines, and now we're doing flips and back handsprings and all these crazy lifts, so it's come a long way. Well, 
Cut before it loose. How did day one go for Tech Week? Uh, we got a lot farther along than I was hoping that we would. So that's the plus. The bad news, one of our set pieces broke, so we have a lot of repairs to do tonight. What's happening now is you can see where it's rubbing black on the sign here, guys. This thing is slut. See, the wheel is just completely off. But, so it was doing this and twisting. Ship it back to caster connection. We'll swap out the wheel. We have a set piece that is... Uh, it's a set of stairs with another scene on the back and it's very heavy because we have a lot of ballast in it to keep it from flipping and unfortunately i think the kids ran over a screw that we didn't pick up and it disintegrated the wheel that it rolls on uh your banana jumps in love shack when you banana jump and the guys like walking under you makes them bigger one of the things about Devin that we need to remember is that she is the consummate professional and i am sure usually when you choreograph a show the people show up, they do their job, and they leave. We are fortunate with Devin because she shows up, does her job, and then continues to come back to support the work she has done. So, in a sense, am I concerned that she's gone? And the answer is no, because we have good dance captains that she has taught well. Do you think that she, do I think she was worried? I'm sure she was worried. And the people who direct, choreograph, play music in a musical put a lot of ownership into that show, a lot of them and you never want to see it go poorly and I'm sure she, like me, is um, one of those types of A personalities where they want to be in control and not lose it and by having to go away for four rehearsals before we go up, I can see where that would shake a person. So if I were in Devon's shoes, I would have been a little nervous leaving but at the same time confident that the kids would pick it up because they are incredibly talented. And in fact, I thought we sounded better musically because we actually had our drummer here, which kept us all together on beat. Uh, my association with this, well, I used to go to high school here, and Mr. Dingman actually called me up and said, hey, you know, uh, can you do me a favor? Um, and since I drum, you know, I've been drumming for some, quite some time now. So uh, I figured, you know, I'll give it a try and help out my old high school. <laughs> And one of the things that I've learned in my experience is you don't skimp on pit members. You pay them the money they need, whatever, to get a good pit player in there because inevitably you have a weak piano player, everything falls apart from there. You have a weak drummer, everything falls apart. So I went for the best. Um, well, you know, it's okay. I'm still. There's a couple solos I need to learn still, but I got most of it down. I think it doesn't sounds pretty good. We take it. Leave your chairs. We take them. Hold on, they're still they're still talking. During show, I'm I run that side of stage. I tell them when a set's supposed to be moved out. I help move sets out and keep everyone quiet and in line, you know? Keep backhand strong. <laughs> um, I guess I'd say my personality is uh, pretty laid back, happy. Hey, I'm Tiffany, and these are my friends, Cindy, Mel, and Kim. Sunny D. So how do you like our school so far? I like it. I guess. All right. I don't feel like It's a very exciting day. At the end of the day, you will all know who your senior class president will be. Okay, now we will have a presentation from each of the candidates. Michael Feldman has volunteered to go first, so well, without any further ado, let's have Michael Feldman. I guarantee that Ocean High will rock. We're seniors, dudes. Let's make this the best year of our lives. Do, 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 do. 
I didn't know what you were doing. You were singing with the soul All right, so you go. Do 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 do. Come on. All right, so let's do it from the beginning again. Where's rough? Five, six, seven, eight. There is one number I'll be honest, and I'm contemplating cutting right now because it's not going as well as we're hoping. Making a cut in a show would just mean that that scene or that number would be removed from the show in its entirety and we would make adjustments in the line so that if the song was integral to the plot of the show, the audience understands what happened. So we take each other's hands cause we seem to understand the urgency. The number that I'm thinking about cutting out is the uh, song Get Into My Dreams, or Get Out of My Dreams. Get out of my mind, whoa, hey, you, whoa. Let's see. Would that look good for the show? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was just kind of surprised. Time of our lives has been a challenge for us because, well, one, it was the last dance that we learned with Devin, and it was a rushed uh, choreography rehearsal because we were running out of time. And so, beginning of Tech Week, it was very weak. And now the dance is going very well. Vocally, I do have some concerns, but every day they get a little bit better with it. So I think it'll be ready by showtime. Never felt this way before. Every number is important to a musical because they base the theme of the show on those numbers. They tell a story, it's just they're telling it to music. However, traditionally there are usually two numbers in Act 2, or three numbers, sorry. The first one of the act that tells the audience, hey, welcome back from your intermission, time to refocus. Then there's what's called the 10 o'clock number, and that usually happens around a third of the way through the second act, and that's telling the audience, yeah, we know you've been sitting for an hour and a half, time to wake up, we're almost done. And then the last number. We saw the writing on the wall as we felt this magical fantasy. Last night, the song I was contemplating cutting was one of the songs that we didn't choreograph until last week. And so it was very weak because we hadn't really rehearsed it as much as our stronger number. How I go about making the cut, I don't go about it lightly. I worry about it. I get upset about it because I feel like I'm failing the kids. I'm saying, I've lost my belief in you, we're going to remove this number. I'm not going to make that decision yet. we got time. And so it's every bit as much like a basketball coach who takes his all-star player and decides he's making a lot of mistakes and he sits him down for a bit. And so last night, I was contemplating making that cut, and I think rumor got around that I was, and the kids stepped up. And after I watched it, we don't have to. Every time they do it, they get better. And I think a lot of it too has to do with they want to do well. Nobody wants to go on stage and look like a chump in front of the audience. And so 
I think they were getting nervous and the advice I gave them is forget about it. Just dance and have fun. Do what you guys can do that I know you can do and they did. think you're at the top, there's more improvement to do. I think all the actors are doing really well. A lot of people are showing emotion. I think it's easier because we're, we can connect well with the character of being a high schooler. I know that the job I did was strong. I know the job that Mr. Fowler did was strong and that Devin did was strong. It's now just a matter of the kids remembering what they were told and putting it together. And that's usually what happens tonight. The magic happens. I'm pretty stressed out because tomorrow's the um, high school showing and it's always really nerve wracking performing in front of your peers. Re piercing them. Oh, I got it. Um, I'm a little nervous that we haven't gotten the show done in a lot of time, but we always pull it together at the last minute. I feel really sick right now. Like I'm getting hot flashes, and like if I take off my hoodie, I get really cold, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm just getting like anxiety attacks right now or not. What are you guys doing? Uh, nothing. We gotta get going. Wait, no! I'm just really tired right now. We've all had barely any sleep. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna turn around and desert you. Today it's is the, the day last before day the day show! The show was a little rough during the week, we definitely had our uh, work cut out for us, but uh, tonight we're doing really well. We're hoping to go do this all tomorrow. Let's go! They, they said leather, but they gave me a vest and like chain, like this? This is the symbol for women, but they told me to wear it, along with this thing. Um, feel like a doggy. Now you've seen Ronald Reagan kissing babies while well, I'm getting votes by kissing the late. So form one cue at the front of the line, vote one for Feldman and your lips are mine. I'm very excited for tomorrow's show. Not so much the morning show because that involves waking up at four in the morning, but all the other shows, yeah, gun ho. It's the um, high school one, but um, it's a good exercise, you know, to get ready for the actual show. Yeah, it's just the kids at the school, our peers. Slightly because of most of the costumes, yes, and everything else, no. Actually, the high school audience is least of my worries. I'm worried about the real show. Is there 
there any masking tape anywhere? I need to take my time. Oh, yeah, wait. Expected to be amazing, pretty much. I'm very nervous right now. I'm very nervous right now. Very, very nervous. Please enjoy the show, laugh, clap, have a good time, but at the same time, please be respectful audience. So we hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for coming. They're funny, so. You do that pretty hard. Oh, he told me to. And then hit him right in the face. You're a really sweet guy, but you're like a brother to me. I'm sorry. Michael's the guy I want to be with. <laughs> but the love songs because the 80s were real, real rough for me at that point in my life. Sunday shoes, please, oh, Louise, pull me off of my knees. It's not really sinking, but I know I'm going to miss it when I'm done with this, because this was a lot of fun, met a lot of new people, and made some great friends. I'm feeling sad, kind of, but we're going to make it awesome, so it's going to be something to remember. favorite musical 
out of all the history of Grand Valley Musicals choreographed because there was so much choreography. Happy. Don't worry, be happy now. Ooh. Am I sad? Uh, I'm more excited. I'm sad for our seniors who this is their last show. One, two, three, four. Seniors, this is it. Give yeah. them one last great show. Uh, can't believe this is it. We get our best Woo. performance today, and then a high note. Um, not really. Uh, I mean, we've, we've had a lot of fun doing it, but I think it's time that um, it kind of wrapped up its run. And you know, if you go too long with something, it just kind of gets kind of you know, tired or something like that. So you know, I'm having a, still having a lot of fun with it, but I think it's I think it's ready to be over. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Pick up 95 tenors. Especially Caitlin and James and Logan, they'll be going away and I won't be working with them again. So it was nice to work with them one more time. And two, three, four, five, six, nerve-wracking part of the show because I have to lift Olivia and and I have to remember my words because this is like my only solo but it's a big solo of my life no I never felt this way before yes I swear it's the truth and I owe it all to you cause I've had the time of my and I owe it all to you. time of my life Ooh, no, I never felt this way before never felt yes, this I swear way. I've never thought of myself as a great actor or singer or dancer I always thought I was average at all of them and the whole idea behind my part is an average kid so I guess yeah I, it works <laughs> 